Hello and welcome to another Immersive Geology Developer Snapshot. In this snapshot, I'll be showing you the new multi-block skin system. This system allows a player to change how an Immersive Geology multi-block looks. You can get these by either finding them as dungeon loot, mob drops, or by trading with a villager. You can also craft some of them. These skins here that you can see are ones that I've put together and you can see that they are accredited to a certain person. This is to help show my appreciation of all the people that helped me make immersive geology better. In the future, you may find skins accredited to bug hunters, other developers, mod packs, or even supporters from my Patreon. A feature that I'm quite excited to show you is that this skin system also supports a default skin. By default, <laughs> the skin is the Old Faithful. However, in the configuration, you can change this to whatever you think may suit your mod pack if you're a developer, or if you just prefer a skin to be applied to all of your multi-blocks. Maybe you just really like the hazard skin. I feel like having this default skin will allow mod pack developers to help fit immersive geology better with the theming of their pack. This will, of course, also come with a feature that I'm also considering implementing. I'd also love some feedback on this, so if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments down below. This feature would be to change the behavior of the multi-block based on the skin that's being applied. For example, having a slower processing speed if you've got the rusted skin applied. This of course would all be done through configuration in the configuration file for Immersive Geology server. I've also taken the time to work on multi-block menus. So the chemical reactor now has a multi-block menu to allow you to work with it in GUI form. I feel like this will help players get around to working with the chemical reactor first before having to figure out how to do more direct automation. Lastly, a hint on the next large update will be a focus on adding a new industrial furnace. This furnace will output molten metals, which has been a feature inside Immersive Geology for quite a while. Unfortunately, molten metals were either unobtainable through normal means, or were just usable. Now, in the next big update, you'll be able to use molten metals in the foundry to cast them. The foundry is a planned upgrade to the metal press. This metal press is designed to cast metals in mass for great efficiency and speed. And of course, the industrial furnace is a very large multi-block, the largest multi-block currently planned for immersive geology. This multi-block will take large bulk amounts of molten uh, well, minerals and other ores that you can shove into it and output large quantities of molten metal. And that's actually about it for this snapshot. I do hope you have a good afternoon, evening or morning, wherever and wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next developer snapshot.